Hey guys, Tristan Orbido here. Just going to show you my power backup system for my Raspberry Pi. Now, I wanted the power backup system on my Raspberry Pi because it lives inside my car. I wanted to have the option that the Raspberry Pi could stay active when the car turned off. So to achieve this, I have a few components and a couple of tricky bits of circuitry. First component is this one here. It's called the PowerBoost 1000C. This chip has a LiPo battery with a USB out to the Raspberry Pi and a connection between the two. This takes power in, which will also charge the battery, or when there's no direct power in, we'll use the battery to ramp up to 5 volts to keep the system active. I've also used some GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi, and they control what happens inside the PowerBoost 1000C. I'll put a link in the description to this so you guys can look it up. This is the circuit. On this side is the PowerBoost 1000C, on this side is the Raspberry Pi. 5 volts USB power enable, ground and low battery. And on the Raspberry Pi, the GPO pins 4 and 17. Both these are connected to a common ground. It's worth pointing out the Raspberry Pi on this side is a 3.3 volt system, whereas the PowerBoost runs at 5 volts. First thing I did was I connected the enable to the ground via a 10k resistor. And what this does is it allows that the PowerBoost 1000C only turns on when there's power given to the enable. So it won't turn off, it won't turn on when I disconnect the power unless it's being held on through the 5 volts. Second thing I did was I connected the USB power through to the enable. This means when there's power coming into the power boost, it'll turn on. The last thing, the 5 volts goes through a 2N quadruple 2 transistor, which is controlled by the GPO pin 4, and that allows the power boost to automatically turn on and stay on. This is controlled by the Raspberry Pi, so this is what allows the Raspberry Pi to decide when there's power staying in the system or not. And now I'll show you how it works. When power is connected through the USB on the 1000C power boost, power is directly passed straight through into the Raspberry Pi, which is now active and running. Now if I was to pull power out at this exact moment, the entire system would turn off. And that's because the Raspberry Pi isn't holding open the power connection, which would use the light poly battery. And if I run the command keep alive, so the system is now running on battery backup power. And if I disconnect the power, with no USB power put in, the system is still active and running, and I can talk to it with my computer. This will stay this way until the low voltage signal from here is picked up by the Raspberry Pi, at which time the Raspberry Pi has a script which will call and shut everything down. Then this is how you turn it off. Dunk! So that is my battery backup from Raspberry Pi. I'm hoping in the next video I'll show you I'll show you how I install it into my car. Thanks for watching the video.